Hi guys, it's Shimi. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'm back with another project that you can use for your graduation. Um, this is a favor that we're going to give to all the guests that are coming to the graduation party. So I'm super excited. So I want to show you what they look like and then I'll explain the process and show you a little bit too. So um, this is just a votive candle. You can get these at Michael's. They come in a box just like this. They come plain with nothing on them. You can get them white in white and tan. And I love using these. Um, they're really fun and easy. Easy. They're um, two inches by 1.4 inch, so that's what I used. And then basically you print on tissue paper and you glue it onto the candle. So I'm going to explain um, the process to you. Um, you can do these for weddings. This one has a beautiful saying for my cousin. He has lots of sayings. He's a poet. Um, so there's was lots to use, but I really like this one. I said I didn't realize uh, how blind I was until I opened my eyes. So I thought that would be really, really beautiful. And that is so something something wise <laughs> and beautiful that my cousin would say. So you need a piece of copier paper um, after you kind of set up what you want to say, how you want the quote or the saying to print out. You could even do like the date of the wedding or the graduation or whatever party you're doing. Um, that would be a great way to do it. Um, you're just going to grab some printer paper. I am going to attach a tissue paper with my Deco Arts Deco Page Glue in matte. Um, so you're just going to lay that down. I'm going to use double-sided sticky tape, um, but you don't have to use that. And you just need plain tissue paper. Um, this is a nicer tissue paper than I usually use, um, just because my mom bought a really nice batch of it. Um, but you can use dollar store um, tissue paper too. And you could even do this in colors. I'm just doing mine in white, just because it's easier. And you're just going to take a little bit of tape, and you'll put it on your printer paper. And I have a laser printer, I bought it a long time ago, <laughs> just um, because it doesn't smear. If you're doing this on an inkjet printer, then you will have to spray it with like um, an acrylic sealer or um, a fixative. Probably hairspray would work too, but I would let it dry for a while. So you're just going to attach your pieces of double-sided sticky tape. And if you want um, me to show you how I did my document, um, I will show you how to do that. But basically, you just make a text box with your text in it. Um, I decided to make these um, basically the length of the candle and not the width. So um, it's more like a little, just like a square piece that has the coat on it. But if you wanted to, you could have the tissue paper go all around. I just didn't want to do that. I thought it'd be easier just to cut them out and put them on. And tissue paper is great because it kind of blends in with the glass. Um, so I didn't mind too much if um, a little bit of glass showed. I do more of these kind of candles and I cover the whole thing with handmade paper and that is really, really beautiful. Um, and eventually I will start selling those in my shop. They're really pretty. So I'm just going to, the main thing is the corners, um, cause those will kind of run through your printer. And the main reason why I didn't go around is because I tried to do that, but, um, some of the ink ran. So you improvise, right? <laughs> when things don't go the way that you want. But we're getting close to the party. Today is Thursday, so um, we're going to do all the cooking tomorrow. So that'll be good. And then Saturday is party time. So I have to make a playlist of music. Um, my cousin does not like rap or country. So we are going to try to do more stuff like pop and um, maybe a little bit of r and I think he likes a few things. And um, just a lot of fun music that he likes. He listens to everything else, though. So it'll be a good playlist. And then I'm just going to stick this on here. So I got to do that too later on today. Um, so I'm just going to stick down this tissue paper onto my page here. And I just start with one end. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if a little bit hangs over because I'm going to go in um, with my scissors and just straighten everything out. But it'll be, I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope he likes everything. And it's just amazing, like, um, you know, I don't think that at college is for everyone, right? Like, you don't have to go to college, you can still have a successful life. But um, he decided when he was in seventh grade that that's what he wanted. So it's just beautiful um, to see his dreams come true. You know, and he has God in his life and his heart, which is the most important thing. And um, 
Yeah, and his dream, everything that he wanted is just coming true. So it's good to see that his hard work paid off, you know. So I think that's beautiful. And if he didn't want to go to college, if he just wanted to get a job, I know he would be perfect at that too. But, um, but it's just great to see all of his dreams come true. So we really want to celebrate him and just have a wonderful time to celebrate his mother and all her hard work and her dedication to her children. I've told you she's just an amazing woman that I love very, very much. <laughs> and so, so it'll be a good day. I'm excited. So we're just going to go ahead and trim this off. Just trim around as close as you can to the paper. And don't worry, um, the tape will come off with the tissue paper so you don't have to worry about that. And I have to manually feed this through my printer. Um, and that is probably the best way to go. Because um, I wouldn't definitely like put it in the under rack like when you load your paper. That probably wouldn't work well. So hopefully you have a manual feeder. Because tissue paper and things can get stuck. So just be a little careful with that. Maybe try a test out too. And if you're doing like a ton of these, we're only doing 24. Because um, we figure the kids won't want one. But um, you could um, just do get all the papers ready and then just run them through your printer. And then maybe have one person do the gluing. So definitely an assembly line project. So I'm going to pause and run this through my printer um, and then I will have a bunch of different labels and then I'll show you how I attach them. So I'll be right back. Hi guys, so it's all printed out. So this is how it looks. Of course, it won't be like perfectly clear, but that's how it looks. So it has this quote on there. And then um, you don't even have to pull away the paper really. You could just cut these apart. I'm just going to cut them. I'm just eyeballing it, but of course you can use like a fancy paper cutter and do that. I almost forgot to silence my music because I am feeling a little bit <laughs> nostalgic, right? Um, so I was thinking about like my graduation. So I was listening to all the songs that we <laughs> listened to at our graduation. So, you know, like vitamin C. I wonder, did you guys ever listen to that song? I remember that song, Graduation. <laughs> Oh, wow. And then um, I Hope You Dance. That was definitely one. And then Good Riddance by Green Day. That was one that we listened to, too. And I wish we would have had Beyonce, I Was Here. I love that song. That's such a beautiful song. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of um, the other one um, that we had. Oh, what was it? Oh, I'm trying to think. I can't think of it. I should know. Like, yeah. You get what you give. I think that was another one that we were t that we did too. And here's to the night. That was another one too. <laughs> wow. Good memories. And there was a super popular one too, but I don't remember. Oh, it was a great one. remember oh shoot it's gonna bother me but I'll have to add that to my playlist too <laughs> add those to his I think that those qualify as pop and you know not the stuff that he doesn't want to hear so I think those will be good we'll have to do um oh, two maybe I can do photo by like Nickelback. That's a good one. I'll have to do some research too and I'm sure they have popular ones. Then Black Eyed Peas, I got that feeling. That'd probably be a good one too. <laughs> that would be good. Very good. So I'm just going to cut these out. I'll just do one. Sorry, I'm talking up a storm here. <laughs> I know that bothers some of you guys. I'm very sorry. But I'm a talker. What can I say? At least on here. <laughs> Probably not in real life, but a little bit. So um, this is my Americana Deco Page glue in matte. So we're going to do here. We're going to just get this on here. And then you're just going to apply it right to the surface of the glass, like so. So you could customize these however you like. I think they're really cool. 
and then we're just going to take it and I'm going to stick it right in the middle first, just like that. Perfect. And then I'm just going to go, I'm going to make sure that I have enough glue. And don't worry um, if a little bit of glue gets on the glass and there's no tissue there, it's going to dry completely clear. So we're going to take it and I'm just very gently, and I'm using a soft bristle brush. That's important when you're working with tissue paper and doing decoupage, is you want to be very gentle and don't go over it too many times because you will rip it. I've already ripped one. I'll show it to you. <laughs> and I'm just going to go very gently back and forth. It's going to have wrinkles. That's the charm of tissue paper, right? Um, no worries there. You can still make out the words. So, um, yeah. But I am not a perfectionist when it comes to my crafts. I like things to look like I made them so they don't have to be perfect. So we'll just go ahead and do that like that. And it looks so great. And then you just let it dry. So I'll show you the one that I ripped. So if you rip yours, you won't feel as bad. <laughs> oh, there's one. I know there's one. Oh, you can't even tell, actually. I know that I ripped one though. It has to be this one. Well, I guess I repaired it. That's really weird, but I did. I must be missing one or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I'll do one more really quick and then I'll let you go. So you're going to take it and again, you see a little bit of the clear residue, but it really blends in very beautifully. And if you wanted to, you can make the tissue paper go all around. And if you want a tutorial on how to do like the writing on here um, with Microsoft Word or we could even use Google Docs too. I love Google Docs. I got a new computer. <laughs> I saved up and I got one. So one of the things that um, that I wish that I would have known about is that I did not really need Microsoft Word. And I love Microsoft Word, but you really don't need it. I mean, Google Docs does pretty much everything that you could possibly need. So yeah, you can definitely do it on Google Docs with no issue. Just text box size and then you enter in your your text but I will do a tutorial if you need it I know everyone is not technically advanced <laughs> and I'm not either I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants and I can usually figure things out uh, but but that's just because I know where to look so very good so I'll do that and we're going to stick this on here so yeah, so just put on your music too, whatever music you want to listen to. <laughs> Maybe if you're doing these for a wedding, you can listen to love songs or graduation or a party, your favorite music, and just go to town and create beautiful little favors for your friends that they will love. And these are just fun. You know, they'll look at these and they'll think of Shamar and hopefully say prayers for him and wish him well at college. <laughs> so it's great. Yeah, it's really fun. My friend um, got married five years ago. I still have her candle. I haven't burnt it uh, from her and her husband. Um, and it's very special. Every time I look at it, I think of them and their beautiful wedding. It was such a beautiful wedding. Like, we didn't even get to dance or anything. They had to wait um, until they got back to their house um, to do that. He had a house for, of course, they didn't live together, but um, he had a house ready for her. Um, when they got rent, when they got married, so it was really special. So the whole, all, all the, her friends came and his friends came and they danced all night. It was really fun. But the reason why they couldn't get to the dancing is because people had such beautiful things to say about them. It's amazing um, just to see. You know, they're they're just two people that were made for each other. Just really giving, kind, loving people, and just to hear, um, just. You know that they they were so similar in the way that they love people and they give to people it was just absolutely beautiful I cried like the whole time I'm such a crybaby <laughs> but yeah, but there are some people that are made for each other and those two definitely were they have such a beautiful family and beautiful children and just beautiful they're just a beautiful Christian couple <laughs> that I love very very much so it always makes me happy whenever I look at it. So I hope that they get that same feeling when they look at this, when they think of Shamar. So we'll do, he's or my cousin. Very good. So we'll just cut that off. Wonderful. And we'll go through. And I will let you go. I will quit blabbing like a crazy person and let you go here. 
I'm just going to do this last one, but it doesn't take long. Once you get everything printed off, you can really do like an assembly line. Do not break it, Shami. It's not on there in the way that I want, but I got it. Okay, and just very gently back and forth. I know that I tore one of these. I just don't know what happened. I think maybe I fixed it on accident. <laughs> That's okay. Very good. These are so cute. And we're going to put them like in the little dollar store boxes um, that have the handles. And my mom wrote thank you on them in blue. Um, so it'll be really cute. It'll just be a nice little gift that people can take. So there's lots of fun stuff that's going to happen at his party and I hope he has a wonderful time. So I will see you guys later. I hope that you're having a fabulous day and um, I think that's it guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please share this video if you so feel so inclined and I will see you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.